Okay, good evening. Welcome to Math for Kids 64. <laughs> Today we're going to learn about the continued fraction for the square root of 2. Now, this is, a, this is <coughs> the second video in a series. Um, so if you want to start at the beginning of the series, it's Math for Kids 63 that, where you want to start. But <coughs> we just learned about the square root of 2 yesterday. <coughs> square root of 2 is, a, is a, a special number, and what one property does it have? Square root of 2. Property does it have? has one very special property that when you square it, you get. Mm, I don't remember. Square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is 2. Is this an imaginary number? No, no, it's not an imaginary number. It's, it's a real number. It's, it's between, well, remember, 1 squared is equal to 1. Yeah. And 2 squared is equal to 4. The square root of 2 squared, let me write it like this, 2 squared is equal to 4. The square root of 2 squared is equal to 2, so it's somewhere in between 1 and 2. It's bigger than 1, because when you square it, you get something bigger than 1, but it's less than 2, because when you square 2, you get 4. It's not a fraction. And it's also not a fraction. That's what we talked about yesterday. There's no fraction that equals the square root of 2. It's, it's, fractions are called rational numbers. Rational numbers are numbers that you can make either with integers or dividing in integers. It's not a, it's not a rational number. But it, it does have properties. Like, remember when we talked about i? Yeah. It does have properties that you can do. So if you do, like, you can understand some properties. 1 plus the square root of 2 times 2 plus the square root of 2. You can actually multiply these things out. You want to see how you do that? Yeah. First you take, well, actually, let me not do 1. Let me do 3. That way, we'll, it'll be a better example. You do 3 times that, plus 3 times that, plus the square root of 2 times that, plus the square root of 2 times that. And let's see what we get. You ready? Yeah. This is going to be important later. We get 3 times 2, which is? 6. 6. Plus 3 times the square root of 2. Do we know what that is? No. So we're just going to write it 3 times the square root of 2. We don't know what it is. It's like when we multiply x by 3 and we just say, we don't know what that is, it's just 3x. Okay? <clears throat> square root of 2 times 2, what should we call that? This 2 times the square root of 2. Plus 2 times the square root of 2. Now, square root of 2 times square root of 2, we do know what that is. That's the square root of 2 squared, which is 2. Right? Yeah. Okay. So look what we get. That's 2. We get 8 plus 5 times the square root of 2. So 3 plus the square root of 2 times 2 plus the square root of 2 is 8 plus 5 square roots of 2. Cool. Pretty neat. Yeah. Okay. Now we have the continued fraction. Now we're going to try to figure out the continued fraction for the square root of 2. Now, remember what that means. We're going to look for to say that the square root of 2 equals something plus 1 over something plus 1 over. Can you back up just a little bit? Something plus 1 over something plus dot, 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 all the way down, okay? And we're going to say we don't know if this is even going to work or not, okay? <clears throat> so the first thing we have to do is figure out an, a number, an integer, that's less than the square root of 2. And here's our very, very special thing that we're going to do. We're going to have a procedure. Do you want to know what it is? What? It's called... Split, I remember this from high school, split, flip. I think we talked about this in, a, in a, one of our other videos. And what's the last one? Split, flip, rat. and rat. Rat means rationalize. But I'll get to this in a second. So first we want to split the square root of 2 into an integer and then a non-integer. And remember, this is a little complicated, but this is, I'm trying to show you some, some advanced stuff, okay? Yeah. You don't have to understand all this. That's fine. What is the what's what's the integer that's less than the square root of two? One. One. One is less than the square root of two. Looks like r two. What? Looks like r two. Oh. That's better. That's better. And two is greater than the square root of two. Okay. So we can write the square root of two is one plus 
the square root of 2 minus 1. Okay. Right? Now that seems like kind of a silly thing to do, right? Yeah. But we know this is an integer, and this is a number that's between 0 and 1. So this, the square root of 2 minus 1, is bigger than 0, but it's less than 1. Okay? So we're going to turn this upside down. Okay? So this is going to equal 1 plus 1 over 1 over the square root of 2 minus 1. Now why can I say why can I say something is 1 over 1 over that? Because uh, that, then that makes it flip up. Right, that makes it flip up. <clears throat> so now we're going to try to understand the, the fraction 1 over the square root of 2 minus 1. It's hard to know what this fraction means, right? Mm -hmm. What can that mean? But this is where First we split, we wrote the square root of 2 as 1 plus the square root of 2 minus 1, then we flipped, and now we're going to wrap. <laughs> and the way you rationalize, that's what this is called, is you multiply by a very special number, square root of 2, now we have this minus, you make yeah. it a plus, plus 1, square root of 2, plus 1. The same as multiplying the whole thing by 1. It's the same as multiplying the whole thing by 1. But what we get on the top is the square root of 2 plus 1, right? Yeah. Let's see what we get on the bottom. Square root of 2 minus 1 times the square root of 2 plus 1. First we take the square root of 2 times the square root of 2, and what's that? It's going to be the, the 2 times, because it's going to be 2. Right, it's the square root of 2 squared, which is 2. Take the square root of 2 times plus 1, what's that? The square root of 2. Plus the square root of 2. I take minus 1 times the square root of 2, what's that? Just minus 1 times the square root of 2. Minus 1 times the square root of 2, and I take minus 1 times 1, and what do I get? Minus 1 times 1 is minus 1. Minus 1. So my square root of 2's go away, plus square root of 2 minus square root of 2. 2 minus 1 is? 1. So when I multiply the square root of 2 minus 1 times the square root of 2 plus 1, I get this. Whoa! Whoa! So this fraction, 1 over the square root of 2 minus 1, is the same thing as the square root of 2 plus 1 divided by 1. Okay? So what I do is I use that. I use 1 over the square root of 2 minus 1 equals the square root of 2 plus 1. And I erase this. And I put in the square root of 2 plus 1. Cool. <clears throat> okay, now, what integer is, just, is less than the square root of 2 plus 1? Four. No. no, not four is definitely not. Remember the square root of two. One is less than the square root of two, which is less than two. Now what if I add one to this, the square root of two plus one? Well, I can add one here, and I can add one here, right? Yes, so I get two is less than the square root of two plus one, which is less than three. Okay? Yeah. So we did our split, flip, and rat. Rat. That's what we got when we rat. Now we're going to split it again. And we're going to write this as 2. I don't have room to write it. We're going to write the square root of 2. Square root of 2 plus 1 equals 2 plus the square root of 2 minus 1. Okay? Does that make yeah. sense? So this is 2 plus the square root of 2 minus 1, which I'm going to write as 2 plus 1 over 1 over the square root of 2 minus 1. Well, what is 1 over the square root of 2 minus 1 equal to? This is square root of 2 plus 1. It's the square root of 2 plus 1. So I can erase this and write it as the square root of 2 plus 1. What can I write the square root of 2 plus 1 as? The square root of 2 minus... That's where, that's where I just came from. Right. It's exactly what we just had before. So now I write this as 2 plus the square root of 2 minus 1, which is 1 over 1, 1 plus 2 plus 1 over 2 plus... Ah! 1 over... 1 over the square root of 2 minus 1, 
And what is 1 over the square root of 2 minus 1? It's going to 2 plus 1. How about this? It just keeps going in circles. It just keeps going down and down and down. Like 2 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2 plus dot 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 dot. Forever. To infinity. To infinity. Now isn't this amazing? Yeah. Okay. So we don't know what this number, square root of 2, is. But through this really amazing procedure for continued fractions, yeah. we get this is the continued fraction for the square root of 2. Now let's put it into our continued fraction machine and let's see what, num what fractions look really close to the square root of 2. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me erase so I get a little bit more room. That's, I'll try to do better than I did yesterday so I don't just crowd the whole board to pieces. Okay, so I have to write... Um, 1, 0, 0, 1 here. And then, do you remember what our, what our pieces of the continued fraction were? It started with 1, and then it was all 2's, right? Yep. Okay, so let's see. 1 plus 1, 1 times 1 plus 0 is? You can write. Is 1. 1. And 1 times 0 plus 1 is? 1. 1. Okay, so our first approximation for the square root of 2 is that it's approximately equal to 1 over 1. Back up just a little. 1. Okay, now let's do our second approximation. 2 times 1 is? 2. Plus 1 is? 3. Okay, 2 times 1 is? Is what? Is 2. 2 plus 0 is? 2. Okay, so now we get the square root of 2 is approximately 3 halves. Okay, now let's check. Now this isn't a very good approximation because this is just 1, and 1 squared equals 1. But we know the square root of 2 is 2. This is actually getting to be a, a decent approximation because 3 halves squared is 9 fourths, which is pretty close to 2 actually. It's 2 and 1 fourth. So that's not a bad approximation. Yeah. Let's get an even better approximation. So 6 plus 1 is 7. Yeah, and then 2 times 2 plus 1 is? 5. 5. Whoa! 7 fifths. Let's see if that's a good approximation to the square root of 2. The square root of 2 approximately is 7 fifths. Okay, well what do we get when I square this? I would get 2, when I square this side I get square root of 2 times square root of 2, which is 2, is approximately equal to 49 over 25. Is that very close to 2? Yeah. In fact, it's 2 minus 1 25th. That's our best approximation yet. <laughs> yeah, it is our best approximation yet. Okay, let's see if we can do even better. 2 times 7 is? 14. Plus 3 is? 17. 17. Over 2 times 5 is 10. Plus 2 is 12. Okay, now let's see what this is. 17 twelfths is about equal to the square root of 2. Hold on one second. Square root of 2 is about equal to 17 Twelfths. Well, square root of 2 squared is 2. 17 squared, do you know what 17 squared is? No. It's 289. And 12 squared, you do know probably. 144. 144. Is this very close to equal to 2? Yeah. Yeah, in fact, it's 2 plus 1 over 144. Pretty close. Let's do the next one, and that'll that'll be it. Because then then you'll see what you'll see. Yeah, we keep doing the same thing. Two times seventeen is. It's just going to be twenty plus. It's going to be thirty-four. Plus seven. Forty-one. Forty-one. Okay, back over. Then twenty-four plus five. Twenty-nine. Twenty-nine. Okay, so we got to see if forty-one over twenty-nine is a good approximation to the square root of two. It's going to keep getting closer and closer and closer, but never get there. Okay, well, let's see. Um, 41 times 41. Well, let's see. You get 41, 4, so 1, 6, 8, 1. That's nice. Let's hope you don't goof up. Yeah, 41 squared. I hope I don't goof up. And let's do 29 squared. 29 times 29. Let's see. You get 1, 261. 58 is 7, so it's 1, 4, 841. 29 squared is 841. And what do I get when I take 2 times 841? It's 
1,882. Ah, so this is very close when I take this fraction. <laughs> That's the closest one yet. Okay. I get 2 minus 1 over back up, 841. Super yeah. close. Super close. Okay, so we have 82 plus 17. So it will be 99. 99? Okay. 3 times 29 is going to be 40. It's going to be 58. Plus 12 is 70. Well, should we just check this one for fun? Let's see if this yes. is a very good approximation. 99 seventieths. Is that really close to the square root of 2? Hmm. Well, 99 squared. This is one we can actually do pretty easy, right? Because we, we know what 99 times 100 is, right? Which is yeah. 9900. Zero, zero, and then we just have to subtract 99. So we get 9801. Yeah. And 70 squared is also something we can compute really easily. 70 squared is what? Hmm, 70 times? 70 times it's 40, 40, 49 with two zeros. Right, so it's 4,900. So look at that. What do I get when I multiply 4,900 times 2? It's going to be 8,000 8, plus 1,800. That's the closest one yet. It's our closest one yet. It just keeps getting closer and closer and closer. So this is 2 plus 1 over 4,900. Wow. Super close. Okay? So these fractions just keep getting closer and closer. So we just learned. Now, here's the amazing thing about math. Okay? We don't know what the square root of 2 is. In fact, before yesterday, you never even had seen the symbol square root before, right? Yeah. So you don't even know. You have no idea what this number is. You never even heard of it even before yesterday. But we've already, just through continued fractions, started finding really neat things that, sh that are fractions that are super close to being equal to the square root of 2. But they, never, but they never get there. They never get there. And all we did was just mu multiply, well, 1, 1, and then a bunch of 2's. And we have this fun little continued fraction. This one, this one is really bad approximation. <laughs> well, yeah, but you got to start somewhere, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good job, sweetie. Good job. Awesome.